Gotta know you tell me what money. And and I post three videos a day. And I do three videos a day for a whole month. And it tallies everything at the end of the month. So I don't know. Do your calculations, please. And sometimes I post videos early. Sometimes I post more than three videos a day. So. You need to tell me. How much that is. Because clearly. And it's not one cent per video anymore. I don't know how much it is per video. But all I know is that I'm making money. And that's that, that's good enough for me. As long as I don't have to go get a job. And I can start my business. And then not have to worry about TikTok in general. You know. I make money elsewhere too. So it's not only TikTok. That way I don't have to ever depend on social media. I can have my job going. And I will never have to go live or interact with people ever again. You know, because I'll be so rich. I don't have to concern myself with peasants. You know, ungrateful people. You know, I might grace the internet to bless someone who truly deserves it. And I might bless a troll here, here or there with a thousand dollars or something just to be hateful and say with your broke ass. And when someone requests money in, in, in the cash app, I'll probably send them money to be a little snarky ass and say here because you're broke and you got no money. You know, you know, because I would I would send money to someone just to be that way. Hey, they're getting money off of me. Who cares? I don't know, I'll ask the other people where the positive vibes are at. Because why are you asking me? People started to be rude. They always say what money all the time to me. I don't know what money. Why do you come in my live stream asking me what money? You should be asking yourself, what new job am I going to get? Because I don't like my job. But clearly you won't do that. Isn't that the girl from Soul Plane? That one girl. I can't. I, I, well, you know, you know the one girl. The one girl. <laughs> Cat Williams is so funny. I'm trying to keep it PG-13, but... The one black actress from Soul Plane. <laughs> that attitude won't get me anywhere. First of all, I don't have to steal people's designs to make money. I don't have an attitude. You know? You're saying my attitude won't get me anywhere, but people who are absolutely horrible, and we all know from a certain place, have sugar daddies giving them money. So it's not about attitudes or anything because the worst people are rich. Like, that logic does not work. You have, which I was watching... Thank you for the, the heart hands. I was watching the live stream of the girl that went live whose brother was targeted by a white woman in New York and was screaming, help, 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 trying to act like he was taking her bike. Yeah, you know what, you know what that did for her? Her white woman tears got her 
$200,000 to sit on in a GoFundMe and literally cry and complain how she lost her job. Girl, you're sitting on $200 being racist. Go somewhere. Buy. Your white woman tears are not going to fly here because you're a white woman crying help. You got $200,000 from a GoFundMe because you used your fragile tears to literally um, use your privilege to get money. So let's be honest, people's attitudes does not stop them from getting money because if a white woman who is racist screaming help, 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 knowing exactly the reason why she's doing it, or with a group of black kids surrounded her, right, and didn't even do anything to her, but was just filming the incident for, you know, in case they needed proof or evidence, you know, this white woman being completely racist got $200,000. So we have to stop talking about attitudes when there's a lot of white racist people and there's a lot of racist people like celebrities who are still making money. It has nothing to do with attitudes. Mel Gibson is still probably getting jobs even though we all remember his racist rant. Oh, let's not forget Nicolas Cage. Who has a movie out, you know, where he's a vampire? So maybe you should stop saying you won't get anything when your attitude. There are people rich and they have a poor attitude. Oprah Winfrey is one of them. I'm gonna have to take it to get fixed or something. My charger stopped working though. It was also the charger because I got a refund for DoorDash. And I was like, oh, I hope it's the charger and not and not the phone. The charger doesn't completely work. But this charger works, but it only charges for a little bit and then it turns off. No, no, no. It's your party, your plan, business in your hand. That's how I'm you. Donna, get the door. I'll be you. No, see. Well, that's okay. I'll call some places around and literally ask them. <sighs> and literally ask about uh, what I can do to get it fixed. Sounds out of breath poisoning down. No, it sounds fat phobic to me. And you know what? You could read between the lines. And if you read between the lines, obviously, because if I put that finger down and I put the other finger down, you know, you could sit and spin on that. You know? Because that's what you should do. Cry, cry for me. Cry, cry for me. Do the cry, cry for me. Do 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 do. What a day, Jay Park. Always problematic. We'll never sing again. Well, I was gonna say something. But that didn't sound right. It was not going to come out right.
No, it it wasn't gonna come out right anyways. So no. Also on Jake Paul, I really don't like Jake Paul, but <laughs> she well first of all everything that I say does come out right you may not like the fact that I said that I tell people sometimes that they should have been aborted. That came out perfectly right. Whether or not I ate or not, you know that really hurt you. And I did eat. I don't have to tell anyone anything. Like when I say that my parents are not the reason why they are no longer living anymore because my parents are living, but your parents are not. And you're the reason why. That clearly eats. So let's just be totally honest to sit here and act like that doesn't hurt someone internally because it does okay and I have almost made people cry I have been informed so before you want to say that I don't I do you just want to act like I don't and let's be honest your life is miserable and sad my life isn't I don't have nothing to be miserable and sad about if people are being fat phobic towards me it's because they really like me if anyone is rude towards me, they really like me. You must really like me, you do, because no one, no one literally comes on the internet to do all of that if they didn't like someone. Howdy, howdy, howdy. And let's be honest, all the men in my comment section or all the men in general that are being fat phobic, there's only, there's only a few things. Either you want to sleep with the person, that's why you're fat phobic, or you're fat phobic for whatever reason, right? But most of the time, 100% of the time, the reason being you want to sleep with that person. Let's just be totally honest. No one wants you. And so you're mad because you're going to be single for the rest of your life. Let's just be totally honest. Next, moving on, because these people love to be like very shallow, very... Um, there's no reason why people come on the internet, like, literally talking about someone's weight. Oh, please let me know how someone's weight really affects you. Because weight doesn't affect anyone when Ashley Graham is making millions of dollars being a plus-size model. Nor is weight being affected when Lizzo is out here touring and making money and is a plus-size singer. But don't even bring up the fact that she's vegan because let's be honest, she still faces fat phobia despite being vegan. So ve eating healthy and being vegan has nothing to do with weight. You just don't like fat people and you're intimidated. Let's be honest. Fat people look a hundred times better than most of these skinny people who are fat phobic. And if you and if, and if most of y'all are going to talk, at least look pretty before you even talk about someone's look. You can't even begin to come and talk about someone's look looks when you look like Shrek drawn from memory. Most of y'all look like an uglier version of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. So let's not go there because I have made jokes that I look like the Hunchback of Notre Dame, and I've also made jokes that I look like Sid the Sloth. But when you say stuff like that, it doesn't really affect me because it makes me know I feel good inside because you feel like you look like that. Most of y'all look like Jesus drew you from memory. Some of y'all were probably created created from Jesus when he was drunk and cross-eyed, so let's not. It's always, I saw the most crusty, rust, like the crusty ass people like coming for me that is so ugly it almost made me throw up and throw up again like stop at that point i wanted to put a trash bag over my head and hide my eyes from from half of the people that i seen like at this point cover your eyes <laughs> i wish i could unsee what i saw but you know because it's, it's the most ugly, vile people that just, like, come for me and it's like, have you seen what you look like? And if other people are telling me you're ugly, 
<laughs> I got to agree. I, at some points, I'm like, yeah, I got to agree with you on that one. Oh, I'm a bully. Yeah, people come for my looks every day. I haven't begun to scratch the surface. That's not bullying. That's just you being a fragile white woman, even though you're not white. Don't be like these white women out here crying for everything. Like the one white woman that threw a tantrum on the floor and said, leave me alone, get away from me. And is chasing the black woman around the store, acting like the black woman's coming at her when she's coming at the black woman. Because that's clearly what you sound like is a fragile white woman. No one cares about your boohoo tears. Go cry to President um, Biden and see if, if, if he cares. At this point, nobody cares. Bully. Oh my God, you're going to cry bully. I'm a bully, but when people are fat phobic to me, that's not bullying. Or when people make fun of my looks, that's not bullying. Or let's talk about how the Discord, literally when I go live, says uh, that fat ASS is live or that pig is live. Oh, but that's not bullying. Even though some of them should choke on, well, you know, I can't say that because that's bullying. You know, that's bullying. These people are miserable and sad. That fat dude, every, all the time, Isaac is nothing but fat phobic towards me. Fat phobic. Mm, what happened? Did some fat person hurt your soul? He's mad. He takes his anger out on me because I eat him up. You see, I make him so mad. It just makes me, it just, it just, I just laugh. I find enjoyment in making Isaac mad. That's why he, he gets fat phobic towards me because he thinks it's going to affect me. I got to him. He's mad every single day. And I think it's literally, I don't know if it's on my iPhone. It might be on my Android. I don't know. Why is it saying 20% when it was 19? Anyways, I, I think it's on my... Uh, uh, let me see. I think it's on... I think it's on the Android. Yeah, it's on the Android. Hold on. What happened was, is that, um, this... I had, um, I had said something. I had, like, literally said a whole bunch on Isaac, and he was like, you fat... Pit, like he got so angry like he was mad bro chill like chill you don't need to be that angry calm down before you turn into a tomato like seriously what's your issue bro this is why he won't leave me alone because he gets pissed off well maybe you should stop like you say something to me i'm gonna say it back i don't care if people call me a bully Leave me alone. That's just point blank, period. Now you don't like that I get to you. And then you get even more mad. Bro, you act like you're in high school. Grow up. <laughs> He's exacting revenge for all the times he got mad at me. Mm. I'm going to have to find it and then show you guys because he got...
I have to wait because sometimes, you know, it didn't, it didn't turn. Oh God. Here we go. I'm going to read it just how I, I'm going to interpret it and read it just how it is like interpreted reading. This is an interpreted reading. Okay. Everyone, this fat, ugly bitch is so obsessed with me and everything I am able to do. Oh, what are you able to do? Sleep with old men for money? You know, it's not a hard thing to have a sugar daddy. I'm not jealous of anything you do because I could do it 10 times better than you. And and I and I and, le and let's just be totally honest on another app. I was not looking for that type of like um anything like that. And someone literally offered to pay my whole bills, but tell me how that works out for you because you went out to seek that and I didn't. So, I'm not I'm not like jealous of what you're able to do because anyone could get a sugar daddy. That's not something. There's a whole website for that. You know because uh I used to get recommend, re recommended videos on YouTube because I was like, what the heck? There was one video that went viral, I couldn't remember, about a sugar daddy. And so then I started getting recommended these videos. Let's be honest. Like, anybody in this chat could do that. And they could probably make ten times more than you. So, how is it that you do that and you only make $1,000 a week? That's not even enough to live off of in America. So, tell me how that works out for you when I make more than you. On my own just just a stretch anyways I've never said I make 1k a week and Isaac is referring to the sugar daddy thing when yes you did I could pull up the messages on Instagram right now and boldly read it to people because you did say you made 1k a week off of sugar daddies let's not be totally on let's be honest because you want to sit here and bold face lie right you, you, like, like, you, you, quit lying. Quit lying. Quit lying. We ain't gonna lie to the people now. Y'all love to brag about how much money you make. You're not the first person to brag to me about anything. And then yet, people want to sit here and call me classes. But I'm not looking down on someone because of how much money they make. Like, one person that was like, and you, and, and that person knows who they are. I have a better gaming setup than you. I have two jobs, okay? Tell me how that works out for you, okay? Because clearly, nobody cares. Like, why are you telling me? I make more money than you. You're not the first person to say that you made 1K. Let's be honest and not lie, because it is in DMs, and I did read it. You said you had sugar daddies. And you make 1k a week. So if you have more than one sugar daddy, you ain't making that much. Because if you're making 1k a week, and you have more than one, you're a failure. Just saying. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, where you pull that out of? Where did I pull it out of? I don't know. The Instagram DMs? Okay, but anyways... You stinky, smelly, swamp ASS. No, you're a swamp ASS. Let's just be totally honest. You live on Skid Row. That explains a lot. Okay. I think you're upset over the fact that I can do and go and get wherever. First of all, what do you mean you can do and go and get wherever? I could go wherever I want to if I choose to. I'm not afraid of anyone. You know, I could go wherever I want to. I'm not afraid. You see the difference? Here's the difference between me and you, Isaac. I go wherever I want to, and you go to Skid Row to watch the unhoused people entertain you. Let's just be totally honest. Tell the people the truth. Why do you live on Skid Row? The only reason why you live on Skid Row in California is so that you get entertainment from the unhoused people. See, I don't go to the slums to live there to get entertained by unhoused people. We are not the same. I don't come on the internet deleting chats and discourse because I'm so paranoid and delete the proof and pull up false proof that says that you were so excited that crackheads, excuse my language, complimented on your avatar costume. Oh, I love the way that the crackheads commented 
on my avatar costume. Let's just be totally honest. Your enjoyment is watching the unhoused people walk around Skid Row. And I know what Skid Row is because I've seen a live stream where the guy goes live driving around Skid Row. And I saw a video where the one guy who, when he first moved to California, I think that was the guy who uh, used to do live streams, um, live streaming the uh, Cecil Hotel in California. And he said, when he first moved to California, um, that he ended up, the, the, the apartment was cheap, but it was on Skid Row, and he didn't know anything about Skid Row, and when he moved there, he, he said, I quickly realized why the apartment was cheap because of the area. Skid Row is a very bad area where a lot of homeless people are. So, me and you were not different. I could walk around wherever I want. You see, I don't go outside to go to Tent City and watch all the unhoused people for entertainment. And the fact that people still stand by this person is bad because you are literally standing by someone who gets enjoyment out of seeing someone else's misfortunes. No wonder why I was uh, evicted, right? Because you got enjoyment out of that. Let's just be honest. Okay, that's wrong. You and you and you want to come okay, and with the whole Crystal situation, you don't even care that Crystal Crystal made Daniel Larson homeless. You enjoy Daniel Larson being homeless. You knew about Crystal and you wanted to throw her under the bus because she was siding with me and you thought maybe you could take me down with her and that didn't work. You had her as a mod in your Discord knowing that she had target random disabled people who don't even bother anyone because she wanted to target and bully random disabled people on the internet or are we going to forget because you and leslie you know your 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 friend isaac leslie who made fun of sws which if you guys don't know what sws are don't ask because you're too young and if you're not too young search it up but it's the people who literally are of people too Right, and she literally sat here shaming those workers. Because let's be honest, didn't she make fun of Crystal on my live stream for having an OF when she has a whole OF herself? And she's literally on OF and apparently her OF got leaked with a, a traumatizing video, which thankfully, thank God, I've never seen that video, thank God. But let's just be honest, right, since we're, we're being honest. You you literally make fun of SWs when you have a whole OF. Leslie, let that sink in. And literally sat on my live stream shaming. And I said, why? And I think I, I don't remember. If I was heated in the moment, I really don't remember. But I think I said, why are you shaming SWs? That's your friend, Isaac, right? You guys love making fun of the misfortune. You love Leslie because you love making fun of her. The only reason why you're friends with her is because you love seeing how uh, how how she acts online, right? Considering that she has a lot of mental disabilities, you know? Like, she has a lot of issues and problems she needs to work on. But you enjoy the misfortunate people. That's why you hang around them because you get enjoyment out of seeing other people's misery. You're there with your hands like a cricket or a grasshopper you're just like it's enjoyment to you i would never move to skid row in california and, and and say that i enjoy waking up every day looking at the unhoused people you chose to live in a place that some people don't even get to choose they have to live there because that's the cheapest place they could get but you could choose to live anywhere you want you chose to live there to watch the 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 unfortunate give you entertainment because let me tell you the unfortunate people are the people who have to sleep in tents the unfortunate people have to survive every day like they're living out in the jungle and not be able to eat while you sit here with your grubby little hands harassing people on the internet and doing nothing for nobody except being a big racist to black people and i said it and i'm gonna say it because other people won't say it because they're too afraid of you, Isaac. But I'm not afraid of you. 
You could pay $300 for a hex to hex me and I still wouldn't care. Even though you threatened me with a hex, that didn't make me get off the internet. That didn't scare me, nor did it stop me from doing anything. You had a very disgusting, nasty photo, right? Thank you for the gift points of Kamala Harris. It, 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 was, it was very telling of what you really think of black people. You keep posting that black woman who says you don't know who your father really is. No one cares what a white man on the internet is trying to tell a mixed person whether or not they're black. I don't care if you think I'm black. You're white. Maybe you should go take your white privilege and shove it. The fact that you sit in a Discord posting a black woman and literally you keep posting that video saying the, the black woman says you don't know who your real father is. Let's be honest. You never had a father. You've never even seen your father. He left when you was born. I'm pretty sure your parents don't even want nothing to do with you. So maybe you should worry about that. Because why is it this white man is on the internet trying to tell me if I'm black enough like I care? And let's be honest. Where's your guts? You're so big and bad, right? How come you didn't show up to court? And you know what court I'm talking about. You were summoned. You were called to clear your name and you never went on there. Oh, I wonder why. You running? Who you running from? Why are you running? I, I I was like one of the few people that showed up to court, but you couldn't even show up. Hmm? I'm not the one being paranoid, deleting chats and discords because my moderators and myself are being called groomers. What are you paranoid for? Why are you deleting chats? I've never deleted any chats conversations with people are actually posting private conversations on tiktok as we speak because they're clout chasers if i was so concerned about who i was talking about wouldn't i be deleting chats and literally when someone states their age i block them if they're a minor because after that i say there's no further conversation once you state you're a minor, you get blocked. I'm not going to have a conversation with you about why you think I don't pay any bills. You don't pay any bills as well. So you live under your parents' roof who paid your internet and your cell phone bill and you're trying to tell a grown adult what to do. Maybe your parents should thrust you into the world with no knowledge whatsoever since you want to act like an adult and treat you like one and tell you to go get a job and make you pay all the bills they paid. So you can see exactly what it's like, because clearly I'm not going to have a conversation with someone who doesn't have the mental capacity to even pay a bill. Mm -hmm. Okay, because let's be honest, there's no point in arguing with you at that point. And any grown adult who is in someone else's business worried about what type of bill they pay is broke and you don't even have a life. Grown adults don't sit here concerned about other people's business unless they're broke and miserable. That's life, but, you know, let's be honest. Like, while this white dude is sitting in a Discord trying to justify if I'm black enough, hmm, like, like that's my main issue is some race racist white men deciding whether or not I'm black and get over it. That's like telling black people to get over slavery. I'm not going to get over someone being racist when literally y'all sit here trying to hold me accountable, calling me a racist, but it sounds very hypocritical. So are you defending a racist person? That's, that's just my question because yikes. How are you going to sit here and try to hold me accountable, but then that means you don't fully care about racism? Because we don't need fake allies. We don't need people pretending to care about racism only when it's certain people. You don't stop because it's your friend, right? You don't stop because you like the person and come to their defense and be like, yeah, I'm only going to care about racism because it's you. But when it comes to other people, that's when I stop. I have to draw the line of when I'm supposed to care about racism because black people don't get to draw the line of when they're supposed to be targeted because they're black. 
let's just be totally honest, they don't get to draw the line at all because literally they are targeted every day and they don't get to choose that. But people who sit here literally choosing to defend racism only do it because it benefits them. Sad. That was like someone in, in my car in my DMs not fully understanding what I told them. If you lack comprehension skills, please don't DM me. You can't even read, much let alone understand what I am telling you. Because this person wholeheartedly came to the defense of Leslie and literally said that I called them a pedophile when I said I didn't even call you that. I said you defended one. My God, can you read? Because Einstein could read better than you can. Einstein could comprehend things better than you can. It's lack of comprehension skills. Common sense. Common sense. I literally said you're defending a pedophile. Make that make sense. I didn't say, I didn't call you one. Like, man, this person cannot comprehend what I tell them. Literally, people are her saying, how is she fetishizing black men? I don't know, because maybe she's been racist to black people. Maybe because she said black people smell. Maybe because she just recently, in a video which was not too long ago in April, the 4th of April something, where she mouthed the N-word. How are you going to sit here and be, black, and be racist towards black people and claim that you're half black, but then post a video about, um, you know... Like, literally, being attracted towards a black country man who takes care of women. You don't care about these black men at this point when you're calling them smelly, do you? Do you? Because, you know, what's annoying to me is how she's constantly digging and being racist at black people. And this was just recently, and no one ever calls her out. Again, she mouthed the N-word, and she's going to get away with it again because no one says anything. When she went live with her friend making jokes about black people eating watermelon, fried chicken, and drinking Kool-Aid. Where is... Where is the outrage for that? Because let's be honest, y'all are not in her... Her comment section telling her anything, are you? And her white friend, who was white, said that. While well, she's sitting there laughing because... Her friend asked her, do you eat fried chicken? Do you eat the watermelon and drink the Kool-Aid? And she's laughing. This girl sat on the internet calling herself half black. You will never in your lifetime ever be black. You don't have any black in you. You think you're black because the 1% black you probably do have because black people were first. So obviously everyone has 1% black, but that's all you will be is a 1% black, Leslie. You know what is funny to me is why I'm finding out things after things after things that people aren't, are, are, are like I'm annoyed. Someone mentioned me in a comment section of a video of hers that got out where she was abusing her grandmother and they wanted to bring me up and say how me and Leslie exist, how they're shocked that me and Leslie exist. First of all, what does Leslie abusing her grandmother have to do with me? And why are we even on the subject of me? You're not even holding her accountable at this point. You're obsessed with me. You have to throw little digs in the comment section mentioning me because you're obsessed because you don't get views on your own. You will never. You always have to mention me every second, every minute. She claims she lives there to help her grandmother. Maybe she should stop coming on the internet and constantly being a compulsive liar and tell the truth. She never had a job interview. Her friend exposed her for that one. She wants to say that she takes care of her grandmother who can't even take care of herself, but yet she's, she's abusing her grandmother. Let me tell you something about my grandmother, and this is going to be the total truth because I don't lie. And no, this is not hatred towards certain family members. Me and my brother were the most beloved grandchildren out of all of her grandchildren. You want to know why my grandma liked us more than others? We visited her every chance we got, even if it was by bus. My brother would always go visit my grandmother all the time and bring her McDonald's. No one else went to visit her. I cherished my grandmother very much, the one grandmother that I had here. The other one lived out of state, and I couldn't visit. 
And because of past issues, of course I'm not going to have a conversation with my grandmother, right? Because I remember one time when I was uh, a teenager and I was in high school, my dad's mom contacted me to only have a conversation with me because she wanted to borrow $300. Not because she wanted to know how I was doing. She didn't really care how I was doing. She didn't care. She only wanted to contact me because she wanted $300 to borrow $300. The same person who told, who told my mom that she didn't believe her son was bipolar and said that I don't believe that he's sick. He's just faking it. You know, it, it, it just baffles me that I find out more about these people like when I was scrolling through the, the For You page, it's just a constant, like, seeing Leslie be constantly racist. When I say she's fetishizing black men, she very much is. You can't say that you are attracted towards black men when you say black people smell. Come on. Like, these people, I just really wish they would just leave me alone. When that video came out about Leslie abusing her grandmother, why did someone have to mention me? What do I got to do with that? I'm me and Leslie's her. We are two different people. Anytime, and this is a problem on social media, anytime someone is deemed problematic, people lump them with people. That's like lumping me, like people lumped me one time with a serial killer and it's like, do did I ever harm someone in that manner? No. And uh, excuse the coughing in the background. My mom's fine. It's just that she has overactive thyroids and um, asthma. I was going to say something else. I was going to say something else. It was it popped into my brain. Anyways, it's just like whenever someone's problematic on social media, people lump them with large, with like someone who's done 10 times worse. And that's a problem. Like, people always compare me to Leslie when it comes to the pedophilia part. And it's like, you guys have not provided any proof that I've ever talked inappropriately to someone in DMs. It ruins people's lives. It's like, because like when I scroll on my page now, that's all I see is like of Leslie. You know, right? Because I don't agree with like Leslie's OF getting leaked. That's against the rules. Whoever leaked her OF is is obviously going to get in some serious trouble because it's under OF's policy that you're not allowed to leak anything from OF. So whoever did that is is going to get in trouble. But sorry, there's like a mirror in front of me. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is that it's hot in here. I'm probably going to turn the, the heater on because I am getting hot too. How do I know their policy? Because there's a lot of people that did OF, like Trisha Paytas, obviously, and people that I used to follow that did OF. Some people, one person who I was friends with that ended up changing their life because, you know, obviously they became religious and they're like, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't have an OF, so if you're, like, there's nothing wrong with OF, but to insinuate, like, how do you know because you have one? No, I just know because people that I followed that did OF, which, you know, it's their choice. But what I'm saying is, is that, like, anytime someone does something, it's just like, it reverts to me. And it's just like, why am I getting thrown in with people who are hella problematic and who you're not holding accountable because you want to ignore what they've done and come at me? It's like I talk about this discord and the grooming for a reason because people should care about minor safety. And if these moderators in this discord are grooming people, someone needs to speak up because clearly you don't truly care if you're not saying anything. If people are getting paranoid and deleting channels and delete, it's like damage control. At this point, if they're deleting stuff, it's guilty by it's guilty. I was going to say guilty by association, but that doesn't uh, make sense in this situation. It's guilty. It's guilty. Water doesn't work, guys. She's fine. It, it, it's not a water situation. She's already explained that on my live about water. 
it doesn't work. But anyways, my mom's fine, guys. Um, it's just frustrating. It, it it's it's kind of exhausting and stressful having to deal with all these people. It's just like every time I find out something new, like when Isaac, you know, tries to backtrack on things he said. Like it's not cool to to admit to a Discord that you live on Skid Row to get entertainment out of unhoused people. You know how many people are homeless? That's sad. You think unhoused people are entertainment for you. I was homeless when I was in elementary school. I would never. I know just how it feels and what it's like. And that's hurtful. That's hurtful. You know, you got a, a large person with 100,000 followers who's who supposedly, which I haven't seen proof, stole my designs and is selling them for money. And that's the person who I think is behind Supernova. That's the person who's behind Supernova that's making money off of my old live streams. Oh, I bit my tongue. My old live streams. I don't know. There's nothing I could do about it at this point. I've already filed, like, copyright infringement and supernova is still up you know it's not copyright i'm talking about my live streams my live streams are mine they're making money off my live streams yes it is copyrighted because it's my live streams why are they replaying my live streams to make gift points they're duetting people. They have, and you know what's really weird? They have one guy who believed that he was dating me because they, they went live with that person. They go live with weird people. They go live with Asian people. And it's, uh, frankly, it's frustrating. There, there has to come a point where these people had to stop being obsessed. They do this stuff because they're making money. Not any longer. Not after what I've done. They're going to give me my coin because I am not going to allow people to use my likeness or any way, shape, or form. That's why they're retaliating to falsely reporting my videos. They reported two of my videos for branded content when one of them wasn't even branded content. Which I was literally talking about racism, I believe. Do you think a brand would support someone talking about racism? Let's just be totally honest. That didn't even have a brand in it. One of the other videos was a video with a filter, and it was like a BTS K-pop filter, and they literally reported it for branded content. And TikTok was like, uh, is this branded con- or striked it for not being branded when it's branded content. TikTok, that's not branded content. People are abusing the report system because they're mad. They can't do what they were originally going to do because I did it first. Now they're retaliating in some way, shape, or form. It's just like TikTok needs to fix their systems. People are taking advantage of it. Those two videos are not branded content. Not. They restored one video on my backup page, then took it back down and said it violated guidelines. I'm like, bro, nudity and sexual activity when it was a guy kissing a tree. You know, obviously it was weird, but my face had a, a reaction to like, you could have kept that in your, in your drafts. Like, come on now. Like I did a reaction to a reaction video to how weird it was. That's not nudity. But you've got people who show way more than what they're allowed or allotted to show or allowed to show, and you don't do anything about those people. Cause let's be honest. What about all the live streams that used to take place? where there were women insinuating that they were doing, you know, while they were reading a book. Or are we going to forget those live streams? There's a lot of live streams I've seen where people have done inappropriate stuff. Right? Oh, 
let's not let's not forget guys because let's be honest i posted this in my insta story right what about the life she is about that foreign guy that has a hole in the teddy bear You're either going to get killed that's allowed on tiktok he's literally using the teddy bear for <clears throat> and that's allowed on tiktok You've never seen that video. You've never seen that video on the For You page. This guy, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to try to tell you the most PG way, PG-13 way possible. This guy put a hole in the teddy bear so he could place it in a certain area on his lap for a certain reason. Because he was using it for a, a specific reason. And literally... Um, Literally, uh, it came up on my For You page because that that um, live stream was going viral. So viral live streams come up on my For You page. Other people saw it. And so I was like, I screen recorded the whole thing because I was like, what the heck? Well, not the whole thing. I mean, not the whole life. But what I meant to say is I screen recorded that part and posted on my story, like report this account get it taken down because he's not the only one. There's another guy who is probably from the same country that he is doing the same thing. Like, this is not a coincidence. They're like doing the same thing. They have a teddy bear that has a hole in the bottom. They, you know, use it for inappropriate purposes. And this live stream was still up. It was still up and he was sitting there acting like he was talking, like it was normal. He was even moving the teddy bear. I, I, I can't even, like, I, I, I don't know. Like, at this point, TikTok's guidelines ain't guidelining the way they should. But yet, yeah, if it's me talking about racism or bringing awareness to something, my video gets taken down. It's weird. Like, TikTok knows that's not branded content. I don't make money. I didn't make money off of those videos. Those videos are literally videos that get money from views from in the creator fund. So the fact that TikTok tried to say that's branded content, these people take action towards my page because they're mad they can't get to me in ways that, that I've already, like, I've defeated them. So now because they can't have the one thing they want, which is my username, they want to take it down because they can't have it. That's very much... um a toddler mentality right you're gonna break something you can't have that's like little kids that break a toy because they can't have it if 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 i can have it then you're not gonna have it that's the energy it's literally giving these people this is why because you see i know where all those ringworms are coming from that discord they're leaders, not followers. When someone tells them to do something, they do it. They don't think for themselves. They don't have free thinking. They will never think for themselves. That's why they come in here. They don't know that I know they pull these pranks from that discord. The same discord that's being accused of grooming children. But they won't talk about that. But they'll pull these stupid little pranks. Like in my live streams, like if I care. Because the only ringworms that exists are the ones that come from the discord prove me wrong because i'm not wrong i'm not wrong right didn't they turn off the ability for people to join the discord why is that if you're not afraid of what people are going to see why did you turn off the ability for people to join the discord are these people going to continuously pull pranks or are they going to grow up? It's like these people will never grow up. They want to tell people to act their age, but clearly they don't act their age. They're never going to act their age. They're never going to act their age. Ever. You know, it's important topics that I talk about. When I talk about howdy, howdy, howdy. When I talk about important topics, it frustrates me because people don't want to listen. Of course you wouldn't listen from, so, from, from like, you know, of course you won't listen. And when you say, I'm obsessed, I'm not obsessed. These people are obsessed. Like, I still have people that support me. And could I, 
I don't I, I could care less what people think I'm not the one mentioning myself I'm not the one mentioning that I'm gonna pay three hundred dollars to hex myself I'm not the one paying three hundred dollars to hex me the person in the discord is he said that he got paid and he was gonna pay Isaac said he got paid and he was gonna pay three hundred dollars to put a hex on me like come on now I've literally explained to people that anyone that anyone that uh, literally um, performs a hex, right? Anyone that literally performs a hex in that manner is not practicing it correctly. Because people that practice voodoo or whatever it is, they don't do it for malicious intent. Yes, of course there are people out there that do that, but let's just be honest. Those people don't practice it correctly because if they are charging people to do hexes for malicious intent, like, do you want what evil spirits come with that? Because it's going to come to you. You bought the hex for bad on someone. So it's going to turn around and go to you and also the person who performed it. So the person is, who is performing these hexes is asking for that negative energy to attach itself to them even though they probably themselves know how to get rid of that or what to do they know they're incorrectly practicing that because first of all charging people three hundred dollars to perform revenge hexes or to perform hexes like that that like you're going to the wrong person people don't do it for malicious intent Trust me, because I stumbled upon a psychic reader that says, don't ask me to perform any spells for malicious intent. I won't do it. And if that person is not stating that it's malicious intent, then that, uh, they're, that they won't do it for malicious intent, then, you know. And, like, I, I get it because people have DM'd me. Excuse me. And they said, um, yeah, people do do it for malicious intent. I know that, but those people don't practice it correctly. I don't, I've never liked that movie, Medea. That's that Medea Halloween, and it's not even Halloween either. It's not even Halloween either. What's with the worms? The worms, they come from that Discord. That's why the Discord, like, Isaac tells them to pull a prank, and then they come in the chat, and they pull a prank. That's what it is, and they act like I don't know. They, they, they're they literally trying to make me mad, because they have, this is not the only thing they have. They have um a bingo card, which they mark off every time I do something. Like, if I cry, they mark it off. They try to get me to do things for this bingo card, so they can mark off. That they they got me to do something. That's what it is. They think I don't know, but I get I got screenshots of it. They literally be like, she got mad, and then they mark it off. It's just like I don't get mad. People have to understand that sometimes I'm passionate about what I talk about. That's not angry because if you want to see me angry, I could get angry, but I don't. It's just like, you know, I just explain things, and sometimes I am a little bit frustrated. Because when people come on the internet comparing me to Leslie, of course I have to defend myself. You have to understand that those accusations ruin people's lives. Because of your accusations, this white lady on the internet, who doesn't know me, tried to lie and say that I had children that I abused. I don't have children, nor have I ever had any children. You came on the internet trying to lie about SA to get $2,000 rent. You tried to lie and come on the internet and, and say that you were essayed by someone for $2,000 rent. We are not the same people. You lumped me in with five other large creators to try to lie on my name and four other people and say that we abuse children, that we do things with children which doesn't make sense because of something you heard from some people who don't have a life in a group chat. In a Discord, sorry, not a group chat, but a Discord. If these people had lives, they spend all their 24 hours in a Discord. I don't even have that much time to be spending in a Discord. 
nor do I have that much time in, in a day to be spending wasting my life on someone who I clearly don't like. If people don't like it, they can just block me. They don't like me. It's not that hard to block me. That's what I try to explain to people. Every day I always have to like explain something or clear my name because frankly I'm tired. If people went around calling you a pedophile with no proof, of course you're going to be angry. It's always someone new every single day. It's always someone added to the roster. If it's not Jasmine, it's Space Kitten. If it's not Space Kitten, it's Isaac. If it's not Isaac, it's Leslie or Pleasant or whoever the case may be. You know, because Jasmine comes on here, supposedly, Jasmine is a minor, so I heard, and I was like, wait, what? Well, then why is Jasmine on the internet begging for money? Literally begging for money, for food. Where's their parents if they're if they're starving? Like, why hasn't nobody ever, like, looked into that to, to call, contact CPS about why this minor is begging for money for food on the internet? Because Jasmine was in my comment section telling me that we should pretend we're related and that we should pretend that I'm her mother so we could get views. I don't need to do that to get views. I don't need to do that to get views. And when you're talking about a GoFundMe, yes, I do, I do need the money because we have to pay for movers to get into a place. There's a difference between wanting me to come on the internet and lie to the internet. She said to lie to the internet so we could get clout. I don't need clout or views. That's what's annoying is it's, it's Jasmine came to me telling me to lie to the internet that I'm their mother. I'm not going to do that. And then it comes to the internet and, and begs people for money. There's a, there's a problem because they are using my name to or saying they're my daughter to get money off of people they are not my daughter and why people find that funny when that person's being serious that's not funny there's nothing funny about someone coming on here pretending to be someone's child you guys wouldn't hold the same energy if it was a celebrity you would be telling that person they're crazy you ain't so and so's daughter you lying get off the internet but you don't hold the same energy because it's me and you don't like me. There's nothing funny about someone coming on the internet pretending to be my daughter. And then begging the internet for money. And then proceeds to post a video that was false saying that my account got restricted. Jasmine, you didn't restrict my account. Is this so old? Wait, is this an old award show or is this a new one? <laughs> because there's an award show that's on. Yeah, I know that's what's been the fire. Anyway, sorry. I'm immature. I'm not immature. How am I immature? Because I've. You guys have to stop saying that too. People are not immature because they talk about their situations and clear up their names. That's not immature. At least I'm a grown adult. Let's be honest, you know, I'm more grown of a, I'm, I'm more of a grown adult than other people, right? If I was so immature, you know, it was like the whole Shorty Bay situation with Shorty Bay, right? That, she's a grown adult who could have contacted me and asked if I really talked about her or not. I came to the defense of her because she was being bullied. She turned around and made fun of my living situation when clearly she lives with her parents you shouldn't be making fun of someone's living situation when yours is, isn't any better. To your millions of... She has a million followers. She has one million followers making fun of my situation. I didn't say anything rude about her. I said people need to stop making her feel like upset to the point where she needs to get off social media. People need to stop bullying her. That's all I said. I, because I had heard she was talking all this crap, I nicely DM'd her and said, hey, are you okay? Because I was not talking about you. No response. Nothing. Then comes on the internet and loves to, like, shame her friend, right? Well, not shame her friend, but literally say, I opened doors for you. I made you who you were. 
The fame is getting to people's heads to sit here and be like, I made you. I mean, of course that friend was not nice because I'm not going to agree with him coming on the internet blaming the chat for calling her Lord Farquaad. That was, that was not cool. Because when she said something like, it was like a TED Talk thing where she was like, um, no one's going to love you if you don't love yourself or something like that. And he said, and that's on Lord Farquaad. And then what happened was is that the chat was like, the chat picked up on that. And they were like, Lord Farquaad. And he read the chat and he was like, they said Lord Farquaad. And the girl in the back, I don't know who it was that was there. There was another girl there. She was like, what the, what the H-E double hockey sticks? I can't say the word. But she said, what the? And then he was like, yeah. And, they were, and then he was like, that's on Lord Farquaad. He said it again. Like, these people, and this is the thing, that dude is the same dude that's using her for clout. Let's be honest, when I talk about, like, stuff like that, I'm not being rude, but she has to be careful with the people she has around her because it seems like a lot of those people are just using her for clout because she's getting her fame back, if that makes sense, her popularity on TikTok. Like, she's slowly coming back to her popularity that she once had a long time ago. The only interaction I had with her was when we went live once and it was really awkward. We didn't really talk as much because obviously I, I'm a shy person. I was really awkward. But I never had a, any rude words to say about her. And what was really hurtful is, is that you came after the whole situation and bashed my living situation. You knew nothing about. I never made fun of her situation or anything. I've always been the bigger person in situations, and it's not cool. Like, you come on the internet, literally, right? You come on the internet bashing people and bullying people knowing that you have a large following of one million, making fun of someone's living situation, knowing the large following you have. That's not cool. So do I, I don't bully anyone. I get disrespectful with people who disrespect me, but that's not bullying random people. It's not random when people tell me I'm not black enough. Maybe don't say that. It's not bullying when people tell me to unalive and harm myself or be fat phobic, right? But I'm bullying them for no reason, but yet they bully me for no reason by being fat phobic. That's so I bully people for no reason who are fat phobic towards me. If that's your logic, then wouldn't then wouldn't Drew wouldn't Drew be a bully then? Wouldn't Drew uh Alphalo Alphalo wouldn't Drew be a bully if she bullies people who are misogynistic? Because she's only standing up for men who are misogynistic towards women. That's not bullying. That's defending and protecting women from misogynistic men. That's not bullying. If that's your logic, then me defending myself because of the bullies is bullying, then that would make her a bully. And I don't think she's a bully because I love her videos. And misogynistic men do need to get called out sometime because a, a lot of misogynistic men, all of them, are born with misogyny. They just have to unlearn that misogyny, right? Unlearn it. So that way they're not misogynistic towards people. I don't have anything bad to say about her videos. But by your logic, she's a bully because if I'm only... not I shouldn't say matching energy, but if I'm doing the same thing someone does to me back to them, that, I, that makes me a bully because it doesn't. Being nice to people doesn't work anymore, guys. You can't say her be like, water off a duck's back, like people used to say. Just ignore it, it'll go away. No, because these people get enjoyment out of hurting you. And they get mad when you hurt them, and they want to cry bully. But yet they want to call me every fat phobic name in the book. They want to sit here and say, go eat a salad, or go eat a vegetable. Like, they sit here being so fat phobic. So ageist by telling me you look like you're 60. 
the lighting is horrible. I'm on my Android because my iPhone stopped charging. Now I'm going to have to go pay to get that fixed. More expensive on top of more expenses. But they're literally like, well, that's not the ages. The ages thing that they say, my phone is literally at 5%. Uh, Keenan Thompson. Anyways, thank you for the hearts. They'll be ages by saying you're too old to be on TikTok. First of all, what's too old to be on TikTok? Right? Why are you telling me I'm too old? Because I'm not too old to do anything. You're too old. Aren't you at your age? Like, first of all, some of y'all, which a few of y'all are probably minors, which if you are, you get blocked. Because like I've literally said, if you're a minor, don't be on my page. Point blank period. I said 18 plus. I put it in my bio. I took it out of my bio because I got tired because no one was reading it. No one literally cared. But literally, you've never been 28. So how are you going to tell someone to act 28 when you've never been 28? You don't know how a 28-year-old is supposed to act. You don't even act your age. Let's be honest. But you're telling a 28-year-old how to act when you don't even know how 28-year-olds act. Me defending myself is not acting childish. Me, oh, I have to stick up for myself because no one else is. And, and I'm not saying no one else because there are a few people that do. I shouldn't say that. But I have to defend myself when I get called a pedophile, when I get accused of messing with minors when I'm not. Me, that's my life that is being ruined because it's my brand that I'm trying to build while people are trying to tear it down. That's not being childish. That's me actually caring to clear those accusations up. It's not childish in any way because you wouldn't even begin to understand until it happens to you. You know, till it happens to you, you then 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 you will literally know, right? Cuz cuz people sitting on the internet telling me to unalive myself saying horrible, disgusting things in my DMs, being fat phobic towards me in DMs, calling me a gorilla, and etc. Those things are very childish. When you resort to name calling someone based off of their actions, that's childish. Because it's not more so about the what the person's done anymore, because then you resort to name calling. People don't go into a debate name-calling people because at that point, it's not a debate. You go into debates with facts. You go into debates debating things using facts. You don't go name-calling people and insult them. And if those people do, they are not, like, debaters. That's not a debate anymore, like I said. If people go into a debate name-calling someone, that's not a debate. The debate is over. It's childish to name call people for things that they have done. I've literally held myself accountable. I've literally talked about my situations. There is literally like nothing that, you know, there's literally like, goodbye. Anyways, there's literally like, um, it's annoying because it's just like when you call me a fat whatever, when you be fat phobic, when you literally lump me with other people, I am not like Leslie. I'm sick and tired of being lumped in and grouped with Leslie when Leslie got exposed for abusing her grandmother. And someone mentioned me in the comment section. I can't believe that Tofia and Leslie really exist. First of all, that video was about her abusing her grandmother. Like, is that video really about, like, me? No, it's not. You know? I really want to say it. I was going to say it because, you know, someone said log off and I said, your mom logged off forever. You know, I'm, I'm sick and tired sometimes. People should just leave me alone. You should just leave me alone. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. I can't say it. That's why I had to censor it. The, w the way that I said it probably won't make sense, but I had to because... Yeah. Oh, this is a special for uh, Memorial Day, I think. Anyways, 
I thought I ate. Well, I did. Be positive. I'm trying. But these people just... I have to get off anyways, too. I was going to call, like, um, a place that fixes iPhones and ask them because I need to get my iPhone fixed. It's at 2%, guys. So I really have to go because my Android is at... Uh, two percent it's gonna it's gonna like turn off if i don't get off so anyways have a good day or night where you guys are i'll charge this phone and i'll be back live okay guys enjoy the rest of your guys day or night and i will see you guys later okay guys bye i can't plug it in because it doesn't charge while it's live bye bye thank you for the gift points too guys and i will see you guys later